In this video, I will introduce how to plot the convolution of the two discrete time functions in MATLAB. The first function is f1 equal un. It's a unit step function. And the second function is f2 equal 1 divided by 4 and the power is n times un. It's a exponential function. How to calculate and plot the convolution of f1 and f2 in MATLAB? First of all, we should define the range of the independent variable. Here we could choose negative 10 to 10 and uh, the stepper is 1. Next, we need to write the f1 equal unit step function. So f1 equal n greater than 0. This one is for unit step function. For f2 equal 1 divided by 4 dot the power is n. Since it is multiplied by un, which means the n should be greater than 0. So we can we can keep it n greater than 0. That's for f2, which means when n is greater than 0, f2 has values. In MATLAB, we could use convolution function to calculate the convolution of two functions. Here we could comment the f1 and f2 in the first two lines. We could use the convolution function. The output will be convolution f1 and f2. Let's run it first. Can you see the output dimension is greater than before, it's 31. And for the n value, the dimension is 21. The f1 is 21, and the f2 is 11. Since the n is greater than 0, uh, the n is from the 0 to 10. So the dimension is 11 for f2 function. How could we calculate the dimension of after the convolution? The dimension of the convolution will be the length of f1 plus length of f2 minus 1. We need to define another range of the independent variable n1. It's equal negative 10 to length output minus 10 minus 1. Since here is the discrete convolution, we should use the stem function to plot this stem n1 output. Let's run it again. You could see the result on the right side of the workspace in the MATLAB. Let's go back. If we do not use another range of the independent variable n1, we use the previous n, it will give you an error information. The error is error using stem, x must be the same length as y. So that's the reason we have to define another range of the independent variable to plot the convolution. We could go it back, use the n1 and then run it again. 
so it will give you the correct result. If you have any questions to plot this, leave me a comment. I could help you figure it out. If you want to know how to plot it by handwriting, please see the video which I recommend. And you also could find it in the description of this video. If this video helps you, please like the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for your watching. Mm -hmm.